We present Foundry, a multi-material design tool for 3D printing. Foundry is a volumetric material authoring tool for interactive design exploration that makes use of a simple intuitive operator graph to describe complex hierarchical structures and material composition in a similar manner to shade trees for rendering. Real-world materials have complex hierarchical functional structures. For example, leaves are composed of multiple layers and networks of cells. Similarly, bones consist of multiple layers, each encapsulating complex cell structures with specific functions. Engineering designs follow a similar hierarchical structure. For this specific design, we decompose the tire into spokes that can be thought as edges of a 3D lattice, a foam section, and an external threading that absorbs shocks and provides adherence to the tire. Current multi-material printers require the user to provide a separate mesh for every material. This may be sufficient for very simple, well-separated material distributions. But in practice, it is not sufficient, especially for more complex distributions such as continuous material gradients or metamaterials arising from low-level geometric features. Tools such as NetFab and Materialized 3 matic tackle the problem of low-level geometric features. While they provide ways to generate lattices or surface textures, they are limited to modifying geometry and don't support hierarchical design. New voxel-based modeling tools are appearing, such as Monolith, that provides greater flexibility for freeform design. With Foundry, our contributions include first an operator graph formulation for multi-material specification, then an operator library and classification that provides an intuitive workflow for complex hierarchical design, and finally an interactive preview system that enables printer resolution design of complex hierarchical multi-scale material structures. Similarly to shade trees, our operator graph represents local structural and material operations. We start with the example of a plain white Stanford bunny. We split it into two half spaces using a planar split operator and each region is assigned a specific material composition. Our operators are divided into three categories which are used in sequence to design complex hierarchies of operators. Given an initial shape, first we subdivide it into smaller parts. Then we optionally remap each individual part, to which we finally assign a material composition. The assignment can be the result of a more complex subdivision, thus enabling hierarchical composition. Our subdivision operators include simple geometric operations such as planar division or shape separation. Any geometric primitive can be used, including other meshes. Another kind of subdivision consists of lattices that separate the space into smaller cells, optionally separating vertices and edges from the cell content. Our last category of subdivision operators is based on thresholding using for example the distance from a point, from a polyline or from a shape surface, or even using arbitrary user-defined scalar fields. As for remapping operators, they transform the space by modifying coordinate systems. For example, a linear rectangular lattice can be warped around a cylinder with a cylindrical mapping, effectively producing a cylindrical lattice. Finally, assignment operators assign the material composition to the selected subspace and provide ways to mix and grade material properties, such as with uniform or gradient mixing. Parametric and non-parametric textures can also be used to drive the material assignment. We will now briefly demonstrate our interactive system by creating some of the design shown previously. Starting with a simple sphere, we assign a fully white material composition. We separate the geometry using a plane and assign one side to be white and the other blue. The plane parameter can be changed as desired. We replace the plane with a rectangular lattice and set some of its parameters such as the side length of each cell. Filling material is set to be void so only the lattice structures will show up. We now use the mentioned cylindrical mapping to transform this rectilinear grid into a cylindrical one. One of the remapping parameters changes the number of spokes appearing for a given angle. We can observe the effect of this by dragging the mouse over the node parameter to automatically receive feedback. Now let's replace the lattice with a stratum operator. Since the division operates inside the shell of the sphere, we use a wedge widget to visualize the internals of the sphere. We now replace the uniform internal blue material with a radial gradient from gray to blue. We can use any scalar field to separate the material distribution. For example, we can use Perlin noise and threshold it. Our operators are similar to shaders, and similarly to shaders, they can be edited as simple pieces of code. Finally, we load a map of the Earth for our sphere. We use a binary texture to replace the ocean part of the texture with void, promoting the continent. Following are modeling results with their corresponding 3D printed parts.